Uh, so let's talk about manifestations, like how, uh, you know, is it biblical? I mean, uh, do revivalists have to shake and bake? Is there manifestations? Of course, revival looks like something. I mean, yeah. And pertaining Canada and revival, so. Hey guys, this is Benham TV with Revival Connects, where we are making revival a reality all across the earth. Today, Come on. we're here Come on. in Canada. Come on. Okanagan. Ah. Ah. Moose and grizzly bear, that's Moose all you got bears. here. Come on, and revival <clears throat> and maple leaf glory. And here we got the snow, and right now we are so honored to have General Father of the Faith, Wesley Campbell. Thank you for being here Thank with you, us. Thank you, Ben Lim. Good yes. to see you. Wow. We like to see you young guys. Yes. Come on. Come on. When we started, you were a thought in God's mind. Yes, we were. Yeah, I, yes, I was. Yes, all of us were. Wesley, you grew up here, didn't you? Absolutely. You are in a place called the sunny Okanagan, supernatural British Columbia. This is Canada. Super. Canada is an awesome place, large body, of, you know, large land mass. Guess how many people live in Canada? Guess. Go ahead. Take a guess. That's right. You got it. None. <laughs> There's no one here. They've all froze to death. Look behind us. That's called snow, guys. Snow. It's real snow. <clears throat> no, there's Hollywood. 35 million of us in Canada. We're a revival nation. We're just like America. We were built on the same tenets, the same truth, the same values. In God we trust. It's all on our peace tower. And some of the greatest revivalists the world's ever seen yeah. has come from Canada. Come on. Such as yourself and such as... Uh, oh, even before who me. Who else? Yes. Amy well, Simple of course, Pearson, Amy Simple. Hand. John G. Lake. Yes. He was a Canadian. Wow, wow yeah. Uh, you know, more recently... Um, uh, Benny Hinn, yes, Canadian, um, um, John Arnott, of course, Canadian, oh, yes, of course, Patricia right. King used to be in our church, wow. we were pastoring together, wow. and, uh, you know, the whole Toronto outpouring, 1994, so it's, it's phenomenal. Wow. So, uh, were you there at the Toronto outpouring, like, what was that like, Wesley? Ben Lim asked if I was there. Well, actually, the truth is, before Toronto, we were there. I was speaking at his summer camp in 1993, and telling him stories of the revival that happened in this wow. city, Kelowna, British Columbia, wow back in 87, 88, where we were a Baptist church and we went from third, you know, 70 charismatic, no, conservative Baptist brethren. And within three months we had shaking, prophesying, 70 prophesiers, Stacy was the leader, wow. uh, mostly in their 20s. So we had a revival actually like Toronto in 87, 88. Wow. wow. So, uh, and what happened right after that? Well, we went into <clears throat> uh, protracted meetings. Well, we had basically gathered for 50 to 40 to 50 hours a week for eight months straight to do nothing but prophesy and shake and pray yeah, yeah. and it, it built us and then we spent six to seven years in the back room doing this when Toronto, when uh, John Arnott heard about my stories he said you know he said what are you talking about it's like shaking and blowing and huffing and puffing yeah. <clears throat> so I told him what's happening and he said well, could they do it here? I said, absolutely. Wow. So he invited us for October 11 to 12, 13, 1993. And we went, myself, Stacy, and three or four other prophets. And we went to Toronto and Stacy prophesied a thundering word on John and Carol or not. Wow. John or not, you are a father, you are a father. And she prophesied how that Jesus, as he was coming back, threw back his head and rejoiced as it were, and thanked the father that, you know, these have been given to the children. And uh, she said all this stuff, that there'd be manifestations, there'd be strong outpouring. And she said the danger of that day would be to focus on the manifestations rather than wow. that your names are in the book of life. Wow. And so uh, when it happened, two, three months later, John phoned us immediately, said everything you prophesied has happened. Wow. Get here, it's on. <clears throat> we went seven times, because I lived here, we had a great big church here. Yeah, yeah. I went seven times in 14 months, and so we were totally part of that. Wow, so when it blew up, of course, there was a lot of opposition from many, many people, mm. uh, but it was a genuine move of God. We see people like Heidi Baker, mm. that was literally launched out of Toronto, and uh, I mean, manifestations. And one reason why I love you and Stacy is because of how free you get in the prophetic yeah. when you prophesy and just, uh, so let's talk about manifestations. Like, you know, uh, one reason why I love Canadians is because Canadians seem to be very free in the yeah. spirit yeah. and they love to shake and bake such as I do. Uh, so manifestations, how, uh, you know, is it biblical? I mean, uh, do revivalists have to shake and bake? Is there manifestations? Of course, revival looks like something. I mean, yeah. and pertaining Canada and revival, so. Well, that's a great question, Ben. Uh, 
I come from four generations of what's called Plymouth Brethren. That's John wow. Nelson Darby invented it. He was the starter of this movement in the 1800s wow. in Ireland. And he was, the pro, he was the initiator of dispensational truth. He started cessationism. Wow. All the divisions. <clears throat> Schofield bought it in America. You know, the th seminaries bought in. So I was raised in that. I used to listen to a thousand. I had a thousand John MacArthur tapes. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I jokingly Bless say, but it's really true. Yeah. Uh, we had a belated honeymoon. We drove from Kelowna straight through to L.A., 26 hours in my Camaro LTD uh, for our honeymoon. And I went, the first stop was John MacArthur's parking lot wow. to buy tapes and books and a Schofield wow. Bible. I mean, wow. that, that we, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> pardon me. So we didn't do that. When the Holy Spirit came in power, we weren't looking for that. We didn't know what that was. Yeah, yeah. And it was a sovereign Christmas party. We Christmas were just praying. Party. Nice. Christmas party, uh -huh. 1997. Ah. Holy Spirit came in power. Boom. Stacy was the first one that was hit. She began to shake like an electric wire. Oh. She was just shaking. She was pulled off like <coughs> off the Chesterfield to the center of the floor. She began to violently bounce up and down, windmill, twirl, and then bam. <clears throat> David Ruiz was the other pastor at the time worship leader many of you know he leads the vineyard um he was hit and he went jackhammering across a 20 30 foot uh uh, uh, uh living room <clears throat> then another one and that led us into five hours now i don't want to belabor this because we got so much to talk about but stacy yeah. you know i i was a theologian in this because we were so afraid of it we didn't know what it was i had to study it you know intensely so stacy has written a phenomenal book it's called ecstatic prophecy come on ecstatic, ecstatic prophecy. prophecy and what we've done is we've traced ecstatic revival ecstatic moves all the way from you know samuel and the prophets uh -huh. balaam yeah, yeah. you know i'm a prophet who falls backwards with eyes wide open in a trance i mean manifestations are all through the bible provable get the book and they've been associated with or they're a part of they come with often revival movements. Yeah, yeah. They're heightened levels of experience, yeah. supernatural experience. So <clears throat> to say, you know, about it, it, they go hand in hand. They are, they are part of the moving of the spirit. And John White, the psychologist previous who passed away, he says they are the, they are the demonstrations of revival. Come on, the demonstrations of revival. Mm. Now, uh, yesterday was my first time hearing you teach I've heard Stacy teach, preach before, and I was quite surprised because I could tell in your language, in your terminology, that you are a theologian. You know, you're bringing out some of the, you know, uh, the, uh, uh, the, what is that, the content, and you're yeah. bringing out the Greek and all that stuff, which I love that. Now, how, how well do you think that help you balance, you know? Well, uh, extremely. Now you're like a Babacostal, as we yeah, say, right? Yeah, extremely, because I was raised Plymouth Brethren. You know, I was saved in the Plymouth Brethren, so I became a Plymouth Brethren Bible preacher, and uh, they like to exercise the young man. I went to Nigeria, Africa in 1979, read 100 books in the bush, read revival books, wow. came back, became a MacArthurite, huh. went to Baptist Bible College Seminary, and so we studied, you know, the whole thing, the Greek, the Hebrew, and all yeah, that. Yeah. But um, because I took my model from MacArthur, I became what's called an exegetical yeah, Bible exegesis. teacher. Yeah, yeah. And so I would go word by word. And then uh, we became saturated with Mike Bickle, which is all about nice. praying the Bible. Yeah. So praying scripture is another form of deep meditation. And you of have how, a book on that. Yeah, we wrote Bible. two books called uh -huh. Praying the Bible, Pathway to Spirituality, and the, um, <clears throat> the Book of Prayers, which is, you know, integral. I, I think Benny Johnson said that that was one of her defining moments at Bethel Church. Mm, I yeah. remember her yeah, saying true. that in an interview. That's true. We, yeah. we got them all up and pr praying and praying the word and then a move of the spirit we come all on. just ran out of the building and we're running around the parking lot and praying and come on it was awesome come on so how long have you been uh, in this move of god i mean i mean you got sparked up at what 93 94 or 87 87 okay 87 of the first like i said we were in that's uh we're in a hotel people are coming by actions happening the phones are ringing yeah, yeah. no it was 90 uh, 87 when uh, that move of God hit us. Wow. And, you know, we've been flowing in it ever since. And right after you went to Nigeria? No, that was way before, way and, before. Uh, way before. Way before, like oh. 20, I was 21, it was 1979. Okay. 79, I was yeah. in the bush for a yeah. year. 
And I, I believe you were born again of the Jesus people movement right at the tail yeah, end, right yeah. around here. <clears throat> yeah, right around here, we're just up the lake here, 1976, November. And you know, with that, I want to say, <clears throat> we all believe that we're now on the, we're on the cusp on. of the billion soul harvest, the third great awakening, another Jesus movement. It's California Come dreaming on. all over again. And uh, our leader, uh, Papa Cheon, he's the apostle of our movement, mm -hmm. H-I-M. You know, he came back, we just had a prophetic destiny conference, yes. you know what, um, two, two weeks weekends ago. ago. Yeah. And he is on fire. We believe revival's coming to America and the world in the most dramatic way. The Hispanics in California are, are, on the, are on the heart of yeah, God. Mas fuego, hey, el nombre de Jesus. Hey, hey, and uh, <clears throat> I used to preach in Mexico, oh. 30,000 on the mountains. Glory to Dios. Yeah.